Hey guys, so I recently purchased this Nespresso DeLonghi latte cappuccino maker and I tried to find a couple of videos on YouTube about it before I purchased it and there were a couple but nothing great so I figured I'd do a little review overview for anyone who's on the fence about buying it. So let's go through it a little bit here. So you can see on the top it's got four separate buttons. It's got a button for espresso, a button for a double shot of espresso, a button for lattes, and a button for cappuccinos. The water tank is here on the back. It's a really small water tank compared to, say, a Kariv machine. It's maybe like a quarter of the size. So it gets a little bit annoying that you have to fill it pretty often, maybe after two or three lattes, but not that big of a deal. Uh, the first thing I did notice about the machine is that it's really small. You can see it right there next to my toaster. It's a lot smaller than I expected it to be. Even in the videos it looked bigger. Um, so that's a good thing. The only disadvantage to that is the cups I had don't fit. They were too big to make lattes. So I had to purchase a couple more cups, not that big of a deal. So why don't we go through the machine a little bit, maybe make a cappuccino. You got a drip tray that pulls out, which is nice. If you want to make, say, espresso, you can put an espresso cup right underneath. If you want to make a cappuccino, you do have to open up the drip tray and that fits perfectly fine and a latte I had to purchase a couple extra cups this just fits, it's kind of scraping against the bottom but does the job now what's different about this machine compared to say the other latte makers out there, like the, the new Keurig one or the Starbucks, is this one uses real milk. And I believe DeLonghi has a patent on this, but what it does is this opens and it has a milk container right there. Then all you have to do so put the cup under it, push one of the buttons, it'll make the milk first, then it'll make the espresso, which is really cool. And it tastes amazing, I gotta say. It's one of the best lattes or cappuccinos I've ever had. And everyone who's tried this machine loves it. So, why don't we go ahead and make a cappuccino. So all you gotta do, first, turn it on, power button's in the back. Now, this will blink for about 40 seconds while it's heating up the water and the milk. And while it's doing that, I'll show you this, which is the frother. So what's nice about this machine is you can adjust the amount of froth you want to be little or a lot of froth. What's also nice is it has a clean button. Sorry for the video, I'm on my iPhone 5. So when you're done, with the milk, all you gotta do is push this clean button for 10 seconds, I'll show you that afterwards, and it shoots out hot water from the spout. Okay, so now we have the buttons, which are solid. So, this machine uses the Nespresso pods. There are, I think, 16 different ones, and a couple specialty ones. Um, this one here is a decaffeinato, and it explains in the book what the different pods do. There are different strengths so depending on what you like it comes what was nice is it comes with each pod one of each pod it comes with 16 different ones so you can determine which ones you like so when you order them you're not ordering anything you don't like which another nuisance is you have to order the pods from Nespresso's website and you have to order them in increments of 50 I believe so they do come out to about sixty cents each plus seven dollars flat rate shipping and the shipping is great it comes within two days which is nice 
so you don't have to worry about having to wait a week or two. But it will come out to around $37 every time you want to order, at least $37 every time you want to order parts. So let's go ahead, make it. So all you got to do, flip that open, drop the pot in, close it, make sure the spout's out, which was the first mistake I made. I kept it closed, which got milk everywhere. So put the spout out, and then all you got to do is hit one of these buttons up here. If you push the espresso or double espresso button, the milk won't do anything. You push the cappuccino and latte buttons. Obviously, they'll use the milk, then they'll use the espresso. Now, what's nice about these buttons is they're completely programmable. So, if you want to program it, all you got to do is hold the button down. The espresso will start to come out, and then when you don't want any more, you just let go, and it'll remember that, so it'll always use that much espresso every time you push that button. Same thing for the cappuccino and latte buttons. You push the cappuccino button, the milk will start coming out let go when you've had enough milk, push it and hold it again, the espresso will come out and let go when you've had enough espresso and it'll remember that and always make it that much. Alright, so let's go ahead and make a cappuccino. You'll see it will make the milk first. It is pretty quiet compared to other machines like this, which is nice. You can see it does a really good job of frothing the milk. It comes out hot. I know there are a lot of complaints about this machine that the coffee isn't hot enough. I honestly don't really know why there are so many complaints because the coffee comes out pretty hot. So I have zero complaints about that. Okay, if the milk's done, now you can see the espresso. And again, it's programmable, so you can have as much milk or as much coffee as you want. And that's pretty much it. There's your cappuccino. If you put some caramel or chocolate at the bottom of the cup, you could have a caramel cappuccino or a caramel latte. And there it is. Comes out much different than the other machines like the Starbucks or the, or the Keurig. Comes out much better. And then what's nice about this, let's take this cup here. To clean it, all you gotta do, hit the clean button. Hold it for about 10 seconds, and it's going to shoot out hot water from the spout. This way it doesn't clog up. 10 seconds, done. And if you want to clean this, which you should do maybe once or twice a week, all you got to do is shoot hot water through it so just don't put a capsule in it and push the cappuccino or longo button um, what's nice to clean up on this all you have to do is open it and the pot falls in close it you can see the pod holder here so it catches I believe about 10 to 12 pods before you have to empty it which is really nice and that's pretty much it. I'm going to go enjoy this cappuccino. Thanks.